Hey everyone, Alan here, and we're going to look at Bob Casper's individual close combat. You know, and he has five principles that he starts out chapter one with. Simplicity, control, offense, power, and effectiveness. And let's look at simplicity today. Simplicity in close combat can be defined as keeping the techniques as basic and simple as is practically possible with one technique flowing into the next without any excessive movement. This is important in martial arts, but it's also extremely important in self-defense, even more so because your life is on the line. Studies done during World War II showed that when a person is put into an extremely high stress situation, they tend to lose all fine motor skills, develop tunnel vision, and experience auditory exclusion. With these in mind, we have to wonder if complex body movements are really practical for violent attacks. If the answer is no, then we must remove these fine motor skill techniques from our close combat curriculum. Now you can train to overcome some of the effects of that adrenaline dump, you know, and how those affect us. But when you want to quickly learn how to defend yourself in a practical, combative type environment, you want to get rid of the fine motor skill techniques and do like Bob says, practice the things that are simple. You know, Bob continues, when a violent attack occurs, you will not have time to think about what to do. Your body will react instinctively with what is most familiar. And what it will be most familiar with is what it has been practicing the most. Therefore, it is not advantageous to learn 100 different techniques for 100 different self-defense scenarios. A handful of basic techniques that become second nature is far superior to a truckload that have to be thought about. Remember that it is better to know 10 techniques at 100% efficiency than 100 techniques at 10% efficiency. Training with excessive numbers of moves will just become confusing to the individual who is learning these techniques. A violent confrontation is not the time to stand around trying to figure out what to do. The body must react swiftly and decisively. This can only be achieved by the constant drilling of simple, basic techniques. So when you're training for self-defense and personal combat, remember Bob Casper's rules and these basic principles, simplicity, control, offense, power, and effectiveness, and keep things simple.